Aloha and welcome to Cranking Out Crafts. My name is Jay Flo and today I'm going to show you new paper that we have in at our stores and this is called Upo Paper. The Upo Paper is a synthetic transfer, I'm sorry, tree free paper that's everlasting and non-absorbent and it also resists buckling with any wet media and it is super cool. You can use alcohol inks on it. You can use watercolor and also acrylic paint. So today I want to show you some beautiful uh, alcohol ink work done on the Upo medium paper. Also, it comes in two different types. It has a translucent, so kind of a see-through paper that's easy to trace images on. And we can show you that up close shortly. And also it comes in a solid white background too. So let's get started moving closer and I'm gonna show you some really cool techniques with alcohol ink. Okay, so I'm taking the translucent Upo paper and this is the five by seven size. We do carry three different sizes in both translucent and the white and I'm going to show how the colors just kind of mix together first. So I'm going to take this one, it's called eggplant, and I will drop some color down and then I'm going to do some blue as well. This is just alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I'm going to pour it in a little tray right now and just there. I like to use just a little bit. Then a brush that I have designated for this type of um, this type of painting because it would ruin your brush if you have a nice watercolor brush. All right, so I'm just going to push some of this paper, paint, alcohol ink around, and then. I will like make a background of water. Well, let's say for this sea urchin. I'm gonna make a sea urchin now. So this kind of drop right here, I'm going to envision a sea urchin and put a drop of the alcohol. And then start doing little dots. My brush just has a little bit of the alcohol ink on it, but you can start to see it kind of emerging. Next, I'm gonna take another color and go right over that. And I'll give it another little drop. Now you can see what the alcohol does, it may make the paint or ink retract and then it comes back. We have something else, it's the alcohol blending solution and this is similar to the alcohol but I feel like it has a little bit of oil in it and it reacts to the paper and the ink a little bit differently. Also notice I poured just a little bit of the alcohol blending solution. This one dries up rather quickly so you don't wanna waste any of it. So I just use it in very small amounts. And again, I'm just doing a series of little dots and I'm just gonna keep working with that. Things are disappearing, but you can keep going out. And what's happening now is I'm actually dragging that color to the outside and it's creating these little circles. And I hope we're getting that close up on the film. That's a nice circle. And you just keep working with it and you can keep doing these series of dots over and over until you're satisfied with your sea urchin. 
I'm going to show you some finished ones because you can sit here all day and just continue doing this over and over and over again. I'm going to add a little dark to the center, so I'm going to go back with the eggplant color and put in the very center. And I want it to be a little bit dry, drier. And series of dots again. And the other cool thing is if, if you feel like you've messed up, you can just put more of the ink right on top of it. And keep going and going and going <laughs> and adding color. Okay, so the next creature that I'm going to show is a mermaid tail. And quickly, I draw out the mermaid. And I can go in and add a little color. Okay, so on this one right here, I'm going to use a translucent piece of Yupo paper. And here I've got my palette of, I've been cleaning my ink brush off with the alcohol blending solution. And I have a very dirty palette right now, but I'm not gonna let any of that go to waste. I'm going to actually take this and start doing a series of dots over my translucent paper and forming a seahorse. And I really like this effect, one, because I'm not missing out on any of the blending solution, but I'm getting this very transparent look on the paper too. It's very light, dainty. And I'm just doing kind of a series of dots and dashes on it. And I definitely have more control. It's almost like it's watercolor now with this dirty brush and the palette. But I think it's fun because the translucent paper too, you can go in and trace things much easier. Okay, oh, let's get some of this kind of the fin of the seahorse, I guess. Not really <laughs> sure what that's called. Okay, but look at that. Just a really um, dainty, faint image of a seahorse. Just gonna put a little eyeball there. And here you can see just a series. I just kept dropping and doing lots of stippling with the brush and going between the alcohol and the blending solution. I created sea urchins and other colors. And after I started doing this, I started noticing it reminded me of an octopus. And so, I did a bit of an octopus effect here. <laughs> 